Hey everybody, Mike here with Cine Samples, and this is Rio Grooves. So this is a little bit of a departure from our usual libraries. Uh, Rio Grooves is a Brazilian percussion library, and we collaborated with multi-platinum producer Victor Pozas and Grammy Award-winning producer Roberto Schilling to produce this library. And uh, they did uh, a bulk of the work, and they did a phenomenal job uh, creating this library. And uh, I'm going to kind of go through the patches right now. There's nothing else out there on the market right now that does uh, these kinds of rhythms accurately. Um, so I'm going to go through and show you how this all sounds. So first, we'll start with the first patch. It's called Escola de Samba. And here, I'll just kind of set the BPM. Everything is locked to tempo. Uh, you know, we'll just kind of set it to that. So this is... These, the first few patches are done in a song groove format. So you see we have intro, the main, loop, a fill, you know, and then an, an end to get us out of the loop. And that's what we mean by song form. And then, that was only me playing the Cs, right? So uh, if, if you play just the other notes, you get just that individual instrument. All right. So here's a... So. Let's move on. So everything has, or let me do a, uh, well, I'll, I'll go to the next patch here. This is more of the Escola de Samba vibe. So I'll show you some of the uh, microphone positions. Well, I'll go through this, this thing here at the bottom. Hopefully you can hear me. By default, the uh, velocity is fixed, meaning so no matter how hard you play, it's going to be the same volume. But you can turn that off, control the volume of the loop, which is something that's really missing in, in loop libraries, uh, is that control. Now, microphone positions, close, over, and room. Here is... the close mic on its own. Okay. And now... Here is the overhead mics. And then we have the room mics. Right, and now, uh, then we have this thing called lock to grid. So if your sequence is in 4-4, no matter where you play, it's always gonna start the loop on the downbeat. And that's kind of good if you're doing live performance or you don't wanna mess with quantizing to the downbeat. Uh, and then, um, you know, I'll just kind of... And then one of the other features that were added, your own patterns, and record them over time. So I'm just holding one note down, and this one is kind of one of its faults. It just builds over time. Right? So here's another one. All I'm doing is playing the bottom note down there. So then you could take this uh, and drag that MIDI sequence uh, to your sequencer and further add it or edit that, uh, that programming if you wanted to. All right, I'm going to move on. Here's the third patch, Escola de Samba Extra. So this is just some extra instrumentation. Um, so we got the quick one. The go go. And then. This is additional quirky instruments. Oh, by the way, I didn't explain in the other one, but we have individual hits to all the drums as well that are separated out. All right, here we go. So this is, uh, oh, that's the, that's the hits. 
well the individual you know played together So it's all laid out very similar to our first library, Deep Percussion Beds, where you had, you know, the first note was the, the live mix, or the full mix, if you will, and then the rest are all the remaining instruments. So you have that control. Now, also, what's interesting about the full mix is that it's actually everyone playing together. So it's a different, it's a different performance, because they're all in the same room together. So they played the groove together. And then we have the individual ones as well. Okay, now those were all the song form mappings. Now we move on to the instrument grooves. These are mapped out in a way that the all each instrument has its own groove and you can mix and match. So down here, if I go to the, the C, that's all the Serto stuff. Okay. And here's the snare drum. I'm just gonna call it a snare drum. <laughs> snare drum is here. And the triangle. The shaker. And the pandero. You all right. This one's kind of interesting. It has a, a barum bow is the string instrument. This one's actually recorded at 90 BPM, so I'm gonna bring it down to... That's about the vibe for this one. I have to say, just doing this project, I've learned a lot about uh, uh, Brazilian music. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm an ignorant American, so <laughs> this has really been uh, eye opening for me to learn about all this other stuff. And it's interesting. Um, I've already started composing some of this. You can layer this stuff into your bigger percussion for your your trailer music, or you know, if a lot of you guys are into epic music and all that. Uh, Adding this color on top really brings things to life um, and adds just an extra, you know, I hate the word, the word ethnic, but, you know, it can color things so that it doesn't everything, so everything just doesn't sound the same, you know? It's the same big epic drums all the time. Actually, I'll skip down to Samba Funk. This one's cool. Uh, get down to uh, 94. a baseline on that. Yeah. So now this these patches are all organized by simple to complex. Uh, the lowest C is the simplest structure of the rhythm. And if we move to the next C, it's sort of a little more complex. It adds uh, a little bit of the shaker, the pandero, and then and as we go up, you have the individual groups, you know, and that's it. All right, now here's one. I'll play the. Uh, I'll play the uh, complex groove. We have the blue area is all the clapping. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so there you go. Uh, that is Rio Grooves. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.